Hey, Shani from SpeakTopyView.com. So I'm in my office and I just got a package from Twisty Tax. I know what's in here, so let's take a look. I've been super excited about this. He's been working on this for such a long time. And I mean that in a good way. He's been putting some amazing work into this and I, I can't say my appreciation enough for all the time and effort he puts into these things. So we have a few things and he's been putting these nice, lovely cards in with this. So as you can see, we've got a four x four bump cube, a five x five and a one by two by two. So let's take each one out and then we'll talk about each one. So we have the one by two by two. These are so nicely wrapped. They've got the measurements on it. It's from a Ishin Mini 2x2, which I actually have never seen one of those, so I don't know what that looks like. Printed from FDM, um, their extensions, so it's not like epoxy, their extensions put on, and then it's smoothed out and, and made to look really super nice. And the stickers are the fluorescent green. Um, 1x2x2 cuboid and is never more than three turns away from being solved. Modification is the first made by uh, Michael, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry Michael, uh, is it Womack? Dimensions from my version are slightly different, red key bees, 1x2x2 two two cuboid, tutorial largely inspired this design and build. Hope you enjoy, thank you. So let's look at this, see if you can see, you can see the extensions a little bit, I'll make sure it's in frame, sorry about that. Right there you can see where those extensions are, and let's scramble this up. And I solved it. <laughs> I was trying to scramble it. Um, awesome. This is this is really great. This, this is like a Cuber's version of a fidget spinner. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that down. I'm actually going to move this to the side. Oh, wait. There's other stuff in here. He told me there might be some other stuff. Okay, I'm going to move the box. Now, I was very confused when I saw this in the box because it looked like something from Gan, but it is not. It is a fidget spinner. Um, wow, it's actually a really nice fidget spinner. That's incredible. It spins much nicer than that, that cube one I have, um, which I've made. Did I make a video on it? I don't know if I made a video. I made an Instagram about it, but. I don't know exactly how he made this or what it's made from. It feels really solid. It feels like metal too. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right here. So these are the big ones I have been waiting for. First we have four by four. Now these extensions, I believe he's got the on his website which I will put a link in the description the actual information so you can print these yourself if you want the 4x4 so the 4x4 is made from a Kung Fu Kang Feng I actually never knew how to pronounce that I'm gonna assume it's that um wait magnetized too it's magnetic so it lines up really really well um this is one of a pair built simultaneously of the first 4x4x4 magnetic bump cubes that I've ever built. On that note, the first person that I know of to have a magnetized 4x4 bump cube, at least using my extensions, is a modder from Germany named Ax Amon. For my mod, I choose stronger magnets than you would normally use due to the added leverage and increased rotational momentum of the extensions. Even with the stronger magnets, the bump is not too severe, but hopefully will be enough to aid a bit in the layer alignment. So I'm gonna actually, I'll just put that aside and mix this up. So the 4x4 bump cube, what's difficult about it is you don't know where those centers are, but that's the same thing for a normal 4x4. And this is this is super nice. I've been, we, we had talked about this 4x4 cube, but I'm gonna, now, I'm gonna put this to side and I'm gonna do this last one. This last one is a 5x5 without going into too much detail. So it's made from a Shengshu 5x5. All right, so this one's not magnetic. Um, and this one actually probably be a little bit easier to solve than the 4x4 one, just because you have that center as a guide. I think I need to get some, some fluorescent green stickers for my just regular 3x3 and 2x2 bump cube. 
Now Casey or Twisty Tex is also the one who made that bump Sanity 11 by 11 that J.R. Cuber used and Septimania used. And I actually told him, uh, you know, as cool as it is, I'm not, I to send it to other people just because I don't want to make another video on ones that people have already seen. And I know other people have already made these, but I have not made a video on them. And there's not too many, at least of these both together. So he's kind of matching four by four and five by five. But yeah, this, I thank you so much, Casey. This, these are amazing. I'll put again, a link in the description below to his website. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And as always, stop by speedkeepyview.com for more news and reviews.